The majority of people you know probably look pretty normal, and we all have that something unique about us that makes us different from each other, but nothing really out of the ordinary. There are however some people who are incredibly unique and look so bizarre that you might not believe they're real. These people whom have more than 100 years old are just amazing. They are so cool and confident that it's hard to believe they exist. Join us to meet them in this. Top 10 most unusual oldest people to ever exist. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. Sam Bryant Jr. Sam Bryant Jr. is a senior bodybuilder who only began lifting at the age of 44. When his second marriage was on the rocks, Bryant turned to weightlifting as a coping mechanism, but it quickly became more than just a way to let off steam. 11 months later, he entered his first bodybuilding competition in Columbus, Georgia, placing 4th in the Masters competition. Now, at age 75, he's a regular competitor of the World Natural Bodybuilding Federation, placing 1st in his division in the 2016 INFB North Georgia Championships and the INBF Southern Natural Classic that same year. When he isn't hustling at his full-time job as a forklift driver, this shredded senior can be found perfecting his physique at a Gold's Gym in Augusta, Georgia. He typically packs in two workouts a day and can deadlift an impressive 425 pounds with a body weight of 176 pounds. Bryant believes age doesn't have to define you and has no plans to retire anytime soon. He's hopeful others will see his dedication and take inspiration from his lifestyle. I want people to recognize what I'm doing and realize that it can be done, he says. They can do it. Lena Sami. There's often a very distinct picture painted of people over the age of 50. Stereotypically, they're seen as frail, forgetful and heading toward retirement. Well, that standardized image is completely shredded when it comes to Lena Sami. The 65-year-old Helsinki native has only been skateboarding for three years, but her fears and fun approach is something to be envied. At the age of 57, at first she used her bicycle to go swimming at the Olympic Stadium, but was afraid that someone would steal it. So, Sami bought herself a longboard. It was compact, and she could store it in the locker room. Four years later, she bought a skateboard and became more interested in skateboarding. Lena sincerely believes that 65 years old is a great age to start skateboarding. Sammy believes that now she's retired, she has enough time to perfect her skills and enough freedom to make a lot of mistakes. Sometimes teenagers laugh at Lena when they see her skateboarding, but most people react positively, especially in skate parks. Sammy has been practicing acrobatics snowboarding and surfing for several years now and recently began to draw graffiti. Cool to see this kind of perspective like Lena. Jane Titus. The dad bod may be all the rage at the moment, but here's one middle-aged man who is redefining the fatherly physique. Meet Jane Titus, a 52-year-old fitness consultant from Washington, whose body would be enviable even in men half his age. In order to maintain his Adonis-like frame Titus trains for an hour and a half, five days per week, and eats an impressive 3,400 calories per day. Jane, who boasts a 48-inch chest and 18-inch biceps, said his record lifts are 180 kilograms for bench press, 200 kilograms deadlift and 210 squat. But he said he doesn't ego lift in the same way bodybuilders do, and instead trains for performance and conditioning. Jane also told of what sort of reaction he gets to his physique from members of the public, and what his advice would be to anyone aspiring to improve their fitness. He said people are amazed by my physical abilities, due to my age. He said my advice for anyone looking to get into fitness would be to focus on the daily tasks, fall in love with the process and most importantly, be consistent. You are your only competition, make an effort every day to beat yesterday's output, and with that mince it, in time you will achieve your goals. Debbie Crawl Debbie Carroll has been in fitness for over 35 years, that's impressive, especially when you find out that Debbie is 63 years old. It's hard to imagine that this sporty fit woman could be someone else's grandmother. Moreover Debbie Crawl doesn't just love sports. She's a certified personal trainer through the National Academy of Sports Medicine and a retired competitive bodybuilder. 
Debbie appeared in numerous commercials from 1985 to 1993 as well as in several magazines. She also starred in the Netflix documentary Fearless as the personal trainer for the three-time PBR world champion. Debbie is happy to train different people and our Instagram is like one big motivational poster. Seriously, just look at this flexible, strong, and confident woman. It seems that she can move heaven and earth and no one can stop her not even at her age. Helmet Straddle This is a story about Helmet Straddle. Helmet's muscles are extraordinarily sculpted, and he has a minimum body fat percentage. He is 191 centimeters tall and weighs between 88 and 93 kilograms. Helmet was born in 1969. By the time he was 12, he was a skinny and close second boy bullied at school all the time. But he decided to change his life and become stronger. He started training using two 5 liter plastic bottles. They may not sound very inspiring. But nothing was going to stop him from achieving his dream. Helmets wanted to become a fitness model and a bodybuilder. He was only at the age of 16 that he entered the gym for the first time and started working out. Even Hardest Rebel says he doesn't use any steroids and achieves this shape through training and diet. The most shredded man has his whole training week planned beforehand and he consecutively trains it back, chest, legs, arms abs and deltas. And one day is reserved for cardio training, childhood resentments are far behind. And today, Helmet's motivation is to be an example of fitness ideal and training helps. Helmet to feel happy and healthy despite the fact that is already 50 years old. That's what bodybuilding is about patience and consistency. Dillis Price Meet Dillis Price, an 86-year-old grandmother who is the world's oldest solo female parachutist and now the face of a global fashion brand. The teacher turned daredevil is not what you might expect from someone of her age, and now she can add, being a Helmut Lang model to her CV. As one of the stars of the fashion brand's Women of Wales Autumn Collection campaign, she is seen dancing and laughing in a striking blue suit. Aged 54, divorced, bringing up her son, and going through what she describes as a midlife crisis, Dillis decided to do a skydive for charity. She decided to go to America to train, buying a trailer in Orlando, Florida, and later in Arizona, before going on to complete 1139 solo skydives and parachute jumps all over the world. She is no ordinary skydiver, with a background in drama and dance. Aged 80, the former Cardiff College of Education lecturer set the Guinness World Record for the oldest solo parachute jump, a record she is proud to still hold, and once did a 28,000 feet jump, for which she needed to use oxygen. And she doesn't think it's weird Dilla says her mission is to teach elderly people like herself to follow their passion despite their rage. She said we are alive, we are still alive and we're alive. Until the day we end. Dewan Wreckers. Dewan Wreckers is a 55 years old Dutch bodybuilder and sponsored athlete. At first glance, this extraordinary man may look like a serious badass, but Dewan Wreckers has a gentle heart and does some very special fitness training for people with mental illness. But like many big men, he has a gentle heart, for example. He trains people with mental disorders, it all began when someone broke his heart and he went on a bike trip around the country on the way. He suddenly felt the urge to train and he hit the gym in every city on his route and so after turning 50, the man turned into a real athlete. However, neither his age nor his significant others were an obstacle to Joan's love for training and travel. Moreover, the wife of the Dutch Viking shares all his hobbies including his tattoos. John is also trying to make sports more popular by inspiring people with this example. By the way, the popularity that the man gained online has not affected his lifestyle. Either, the future pensioner often tells journalists. McIves. McIves is a 80 year old probably the best cyclist in the world, or at least the most dedicated. According to Wives he's been racing since the fall of 1956 despite his age. He's not going to quit cycling, and it looks like he still enjoys pedaling all day. Mick rides his bicycle all year round, because he just can't live without. It's some of Mick's classmates from high school, are old can't walk, or are already dead. The people who know this elderly cyclist are surprised by his willpower and his passion for life. 
but of course he doesn't have the same physical shape. He used to happiness, youth, but make it sure that he just needs to train harder as for the aged age is not a problem like a 40 year almost a dime. You know I just don't realize how old I am. He is the only rider in the world known to complete the race route solo. David Cummings. It's like flying on a cloud, says 77 year old kite surfer David Cummings. After his wife died of breast cancer just two days after her chemotherapy began, Cummings decided to seize life by the reins and began kite surfing and snowboarding. The Englishman has been kite surfing for the past four and hope heaven resembles his daily routine of gearing up and letting the kite pull him across the ocean. He gets up, hops on his bike, and begins a day filled with physically grueling activities. Like kite surfing. He got into a sport that can be challenging even for young people not to mention the elderly. It's definitely not a walk in the park back in his hometown in Furham, England. He decided to start kiteboarding. David knows he's not as agile as before. But he doesn't allow this to become an excuse after all. The main thing is passion, desire to do something, and to live every day like it's your last. This video was shot when David was 77 years old. At this age. Cummings really looks like an ordinary pensioner except when he's on the water. David doesn't simply surf the waves. He literally flies driven by the wind. Whether it's skydiving or bird watching, enjoy what your body enables you to do. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With this being said, let's begin.